Welcome everyone to the Roland Michener Public Schools event. Um, I'm Kathy Giles. I'm the principal of the school and uh, I love it there. And Kathy Harris is a kindergarten teacher at the school who is joining me tonight. Hi. Um, so tonight we're going to talk about the, the goals that the board has for your children. Um, then we're going to introduce the school and tell you everything that's really special about Roland. Um, we're going to talk about kindergarten programming and how, a little bit about how it might look at our site, about program options that all parents have, a little bit about the extended day program, and uh, then we will close for the evening. So I will get started with this presentation. We acknowledge that our learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. We thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and recognize their enduring presence on this land. So here are, you will see on the left, our community of character um, goals. And on the right, you see our uh, exit outcome goals. So the community of caring goals are our character traits that we try to instill in all our children as parents do. Um, things like respect, appreciation, responsibility, fairness, optimism, perseverance, cooperation, acceptance with integrity and empathy being at the center of that. So we begin that when they're four and we also begin the outcomes that are listed on the right, which are what we hope and expect that all of our students will reach. So those include being goal oriented, being um, ethical decision makers, um, being um, competent on technology, um, being effective communicators, resilient to people, digitally fluent, creative, innovative, globally aware, critical thinkers and collaborative. And we start working on that when they're four years old. For those of you who identify as First Nation, Métis or Inuit, we do have an Indigenous education learning team. And if you wanna know more about the support that could be provided to you and your children, uh, the contact information is right here. This will all be uploaded to our website. If you don't get a chance to write it all down now, you can come back to it later. So welcome to Roland Michener. Roland Michener is a small, cohesive, supportive community school with a strong academic and core French program. Children thrive in our environment. They feel safe, engaged, and included. It is a beautiful school in every respect. I just love it there. We have a stunning and unique building. It is round with classrooms that surround the exterior and the learning columns it's in the middle. So all of the classes are around the library and the learning commons. So you see here children um, doing some calming techniques after an activity we must have done as a group. On the left and on the right, you see children who have been on inside um, for a special um, extracurricular activity. This one was called Pony Club um, on the right. And that was held in the library. And that gives you a sense of our physical structure. The school has a lovely multicultural cross-section of warm and caring families and an outstanding staff. Children from all grades get to know one another and learn and play together. Um, not this year because of the, of the COVID regulations, but typically you could easily see a grade one and a grade five student playing together. That would be a natural occurrence where um, there's connection between everybody in the school and we try to build on that through a large number of activities. Staff, of course, also get to know every single child and the children know every single staff. So it makes it a very family kind of feel. Small and mighty, our focus is on kindness, caring, but also on learning. We learn to gather with families to help their children succeed and thrive. So there's a few examples there of activities um, a knitting club below that we were on a on a an all school walkathon for Terry Fox and you see our Roly and Mitch mascots going on the walk and the young children just love that. Inside those costumes are our grade six students and they really do find it 
quite a thrill to act out Rolly and Mitch. And the center just had a, a bunch of children who were focusing on kindness activities in their classroom. Um, and here at the bottom, we've got an example of, of a chess club that happens over a recess um, over the winter months. And even the very youngest children get engaged in this, not the kinders, mind you, um, but, the, but they're as young as six. Our focus on learning is fun, engaged, inquiry-based. We try to use the outdoors as much as we can and wherever we can. This is especially true in kindergarten where the children spend a lot of their day there learning both in the yard, on our property and exploring a local forest. We learn through doing and are motivated by our own ideas. So we try to dig into their ideas. Here are the children before they can dig into their ideas. We're learning a lot about coding. We try to collaborate also with one of the local high schools that our children, some of our children feed to, Earl of March. And here they came on um, a coding special day and had offered a bunch of work. Child um, presenting to another student from another class in, the li in our library area. Um, they tend to choose their subjects themselves based on a sort of an overarching umbrella. So they find something that they're very motivated by and learn presentation skills as well as science that way and social studies. In the center, you'll see children in, involved in activities outside. Above, you'll see a kindergarten class and below it's um, a grade three, four class writing plays together. And over on this side at the bottom, you've got children coding and planning how to do that. Um, once they've learned some skills, what, the, what their goals are. And above a, a grade one, two class uh, lobbied and wrote, uh, were concerned about the garbage that was left in the garbage can, largely um, products of dogs. And, and they found it very smelly. So um, their teacher asked them what they thought they should do. And they came up with the plan of writing. So they learned letter writing skills as well as poster um, making skills and learned how to be uh, municipal activists. And actually within six hours of receiving their letters, um, the garbage men and women had come and cleared that garbage can. So they, they know how to be politically active and mobilize things they need. We also strive to have a lot of fun together to be fit and active and outdoors while learning and playing as much as we can be. So here we have an activity in the gym um, that we have had traditionally uh, over many years, Fitness Friday, and all the school joins in that on Friday mornings, we'll, we're tired, um, get ourselves really active, which is shown to promote learning and spend time right after to calm our minds. And the children do learn how to do that. Um, here's an activity uh, where they were collecting stamps for every province that they ran through. So we created a simulated country in our backyard. And this is a demonstration of the kind of outdoor learning that the kindergartens have done in collaboration with Ottawa Forest and Nature School. We also love to have fun with our families and get to know them. And families become lifelong friends with one another, as well as with many of our staff and um, strong partners in their children's education. These activities include things like outdoor picnics um, multi and our multicultural potluck, which you see pictures of here, which is the best buffet in the city once a year held at our school. Um, very popular movie nights, but also we do many things such as um, a math night with parents. There's some examples here of math night where um, the teachers didn't do the presentation. It was the children's job, whether they were four or, or 12, to explain their thinking and how they're learning. So the parents went from room to room and, um, and learn uh, the thinking strategies and math strategies that the children are learning through the children of the school. And the parents loved it. They, they got very, every year they get very excited by that. Uh, we also value working together. And so the children are working in cross ages. Here there's some learning buddy experience with between some grade five and um, one students. Um, here there's a cross age section of, of children working on coding projects. Um, and the other focus we have to promote learning and calming 
of our minds is teaching the children about growth mindset and about how to believe in themselves in order for them to persist in a task that's challenging and to identify their strengths. They also learn how to calm their minds and bodies so they're ready to learn and to manage the challenges that they are facing in a positive way. We teach these strategies that the kids will end up learning for the rest of their lives. So this is actually um, um, finding ways of, of, of working their best and, and identifying those things, learning mindfulness techniques. And, and on, in the center, you see that the children in the school after a fitness Friday are sitting and conning using quiet mindfulness. And they go back to their classes and are much more effective than, than generally. This board and our school, um, your children are why we're here. And this team works so hard to make sure that every student, every single one is seen and heard and knows that they matter. We have a strong commitment as a board to human rights, equity and inclusion. And we continue to work together to dismantle barriers to learning and to help all students achieve success. With a focus on human rights and equitable practice, the board and our school is committed to creating welcoming and safe spaces for all students. Our kindergarten team is small this year. One third of our, um, of our school is is in a virtual setting. Um, last year, uh, we had two classes and we are sure to have two, we certainly predict two next year as well, uh, if not more, um, because our enrollment is growing. But this year, Kathy and her ECE partner, Madame uh, Buchanak, have worked together and I'm gonna pass it over to Kathy now to talk a little bit about the kindergarten program. Thank you, Kathy. I'm uh, really excited to be a kindergarten teacher at Roland Missioner. Just as a little bit of a background, um, my own daughter attended Roland Missioner 20 years ago in the same classroom that I am teaching in right now. I, when we talk about Roland Missioner being a family, it's been a family to me as a parent and as a teacher. I started teaching at Roland Missioner over 20 years ago and I felt immediately welcomed and part of a very um, diverse and vibrant community, very caring community. And that's the environment that I wanted my child to start school in. So she attended Royal Missioner way back uh, 20 years ago. In the picture on the left, you can see our team from last year. And this was at Forest School in the Alice Wilson Woods, which is near the Earl of March High School. And great experience for the children. And you can see also the parent um, cooperation and um, partnership that we have with parents who volunteered to join us once a week for six weeks at Forest School. In kindergarten, it's important that we um, meet the needs of the individual children. And this involves um, helping the children develop their own interests and things that they're interested in and helping them pursue that. For example, the picture that's on the left of the cardboard house is actually more than just a cardboard house. Um, the children in the picture were in this regular part of the school in the hallway and noticed that the older children were doing projects about environmentally friendly homes. And they were inspired by this and they wanted to also create homes just like the older children. And so the early childhood educator, Madame Bujanak, uh, found materials and they developed a plan and they developed um, an idea to follow up on that plan and they made their own houses um, with to great success. So it's a wonderful experience and meeting the needs of the children in our class. Kindergarten program is a team effort. It's an effort between the school team. There's a lot of members of that team. Um, there's the the teachers uh, and typically there's two teachers, a French and an English teacher, as well as an early childhood educator who stays with those children all the time. There's the parents and then there's the child. Um, there's also the outer support, which includes a psychologist who's accessible for questions, a social worker, um, a speech and language pathologist and a special education consultant 
who all support us, but it's really our relationship with you um, and, and with the school environment that, that builds uh, up your child's success. So we encourage you to be actively involved in their learning process and also actively involved if you can be uh, in the school. And you can do that by volunteering when you can. Many people are quite busy and, and can't get to the school, but um, there's also opportunities through um, uh, less and less consistent. So it might maybe the odd field trip or um, as a member of our school council where um, these parents provide great input and, and inspiration. So the kindergarten program is play-based inquiry learning, but it's embedded within that um, play-based learning are literacy and mathematical skills. And that's something that's really important. Um, for example, if you look at the bottom right picture of the leaves, that was an inquiry that the children were really interested in. They were collecting leaves, they were excited by leaves, they were counting leaves. And then we decided that we would sort the leaves and we decided that we would sort them by two attributes. We were sorting them by color, but also by size. So even within the idea of playing in the yard, which may not seem like it's a, it's a mathematical concept, we can lead that inquiry into the literacy and the mathematical concepts that will help give them a really strong foundation as they start grade one. Also, um, I just wanna point out with the, as um, Mrs. Giles just mentioned, the French and English. So for example, if we were talking about the colors or the sizes, we could also provide the language and vocabulary in French as well as in English. One of the favorite parts of our program um, is the outdoor education. And we love to be outside in all weather. Um, we spend a good chunk of our day outside. Um, you can see here that uh, we can see the fall. The um, dramatic play, which doesn't look like dramatic play, but the children that are on the log on the left are actually involved in dramatic play in the forest at Alice Wilson Woods. And in this particular situation, they were pretending that they were on the bus and they were accepting passengers and they were taking turns at being the driver and they were discussing problems about, well, who's coming next and how do you, what the next stop is. So even within the, the environment of the forest, you can see the natural play that happens with the children. And in the winter, we use our yard and our uh, nearby nature nook um, for lots of different activities. Here, the families have sent in colored uh, water that's been frozen and it becomes special jewels. And the children are creating different things in the snow with their special jewels. Um, when we do inquiry, we like to lead the children guide where we are going with our inquiry and they help develop um, dramatic play and again within the dramatic play there's a lot of literacy and mathematical concepts embedded and here we have the Rideau Canal Skateway which the children um, wanted to do because they were interested in skating in winter and they helped make the sign they helped they had fancy um, socks that they used to skate on on a laminated floor uh, one of the children was so inspired by his skating that he went out and got skates and started skating in real life. Um, and you'll also see that they made a beaver tail stand and within the beaver tail stand, they printed money, they made money, they used their writing skills to make name tags. They were counting out, they were buying and selling hot chocolate and um, lots of really great math and literacy happening within the beaver tail stand that we had last year. And on the right, you see that later in the spring, one of the concepts that the children wanted to explore was science. They were very interested in science, DNA, like they were so excited to look at different things with respect to science. And so we created the Mad Scientist Lab for them. Um, some of the special parts of kindergarten are on this page. As a small school, we get access to the gym. So you can see that we're in the gym with a parachute doing games. Um, the picture above the parachute is a picture of our learning buddies. So as, as 
Mrs. Giles mentioned, we have a lot of cross-grade um, interaction in non-COVID years. And we have children who collaborate. And in our case, we were learning buddies with a grade three, four class. And we would do math activities, science activities, and um, nature and reading activities. We also did mindfulness as a class and the children worked on mindfulness every single day in kindergarten. Here we have it being led by a specialist, but we would also do it every day in our class where we would work on our breathing and our thinking skills and making our mind mindful. And one of the fun parts of Friday in kinder is we would have fresh fruit Friday. Again, this was in a non COVID year and all families would share and bring in just a small portion of fruit we would put it together and we would sit down as a, as a family of kindergarten students and enjoy fruit uh, together for Fresh Fruit Friday. Again, a few more special events that we would have. Um, developing fine motor skills on Halloween by hammering um, golf tees into pumpkins or creating um, crafts on the week before our winter break. We often have a special craft day where children get to practice again, a lot of fine motor skills and take home some special souvenirs. And in the uh, picture on the right, you see a structure that we made in the Alice Wilson woods. And for those of you um, who don't know, it's uh, the woods across from the Earl of March High School. And I walk there quite often and our structure is still there and other friends have have added on it. So if you ever walk through Alice Wilson Woods, you'll see that that place, that structure that our children created is still there. So the kindergarten program is a 50-50 program. This year, Mrs. Harris and Madame Bujanak are offering it inside the context of one class, but typically that isn't common. And should the kindergarten program grow as we anticipate there will likely be an addition of staff members, another early childhood educator and a French language um, teacher who would likely do half of the French and Mrs. Harris would go back to teaching half of the English. Um, while there's no specific expectation for French language acquisition in a kindergarten program, we're working mostly on oral language skills in both languages as well as nonverbal skills. So they learn to follow instructions and so on. Um, of course, every child grows at their own pace in their own way, I had a, a, in a way that's unique to them. And the more we meet children, and Mrs. Harris and I have been doing it for quite a long time now, um, there is no, cho no two children are the same. They each have a different trajectory and um, they all learn in their own ways and in their own time. So the uh, four, these are the four frames of kindergarten and the, they are belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, literacy and mathematics, and also problem solving and innovating. And these, um, are all very much linked together and they do overlap a lot. And you will see them specifically referred to when you receive assessment through report cards. Those are the frames that we report and record observations about your children's learning. But it's interesting because when we look at the practical side of that, the problem solving and innovating, if we look back, if we think back to the picture of the structure that we made in the woods at Alice Wilson Woods, that, that required a lot of problem solving and innovating because they, they dragged those logs. And contributing. Yeah, and contributing. <laughs> it, it covered everything. There were, the, the, again, that's where they're all linked together. Um, any dramatic based or play-based learning can include all four of those frames where they were working together as a team, they were talking about it, they were using their oral language skills to communicate, well, let's put this log here and this one's moving, we need a longer one over here. So all of those things, and then we had to be safe and we had to learn that um, sticks need space. So we, we did cover in that one activity, in fact, all four frames of the kindergarten program. This is what the report cards look like. Um, all children from kindergarten through to grade eight receive a progress report in November, um, which is shorter and just gives you a sense of how your children are doing. It's usually 
followed up by a, an interview with the parent. Um, and in January, in early February and June, you receive a more comprehensive report card, more traditional um, approach in, um, to, to let you know. And of course, there's ongoing communication. Um, you'll know what's going on all the time through things that are shared, um, newsletters, photographs, through a variety of different mediums. So, and, and uh, if there's ever a concern or a celebration, the phone is and email are used regularly as well. So it's not the only way, it's, a, it's an ongoing process. The extended day program is offered throughout the board for children who are age appropriate for school until the age of 12, if there's sufficient interest within the community. So we've had a very small program this year in particular, and we expect to run it again next year. Currently, our program has just been in the afternoon, but if we get enough interest, um, they would open it up in the morning as well. Uh, these programs are, are in, in uh, any school, with almost all of our schools now. Um, these are delivered by early childhood educators and early learning assistants. The ratio is two to 30 uh, in our building. It's closer, it's, it, it's rare that the, this, the groups are, are larger than 14. Um, and um, there's an opportunity for children enrolled in these programs to uh, attend, not on our site, but at another site over, over different breaks. And there is a link for information. It's also on our website and on the board website. Transportation. If your kindergarten student lives more than 0.8 kilometers away, they would be eligible for transportation. And if you visit ottawaschoolbus.ca, uh, you can get all that information. Now that's for to school and from school. We're in 830 to three schools. So if your child were to attend the EDP program, the extended day program, you would have to drop them off and pick them up. So what can you do to help your child prepare for this new beginning? Um, one of the biggest things is to help um, establish clear routines with them and independence. Things like eating, um, dressing, toileting, um, really fostering that sense of independence so that when they come to school, they're able to um, do many things for themselves. Even opening lunch containers is something that we may not think about, but it's important for the children and also to talk and listen and read with your children and talk about what you're reading and ask them questions. All of those things that encourage dialogue and the conversation with your child will help them prepare for kindergarten. So this website was um, provided for all parents on all presentations um, and it is the link uh, at ottawa.ca that you can follow that talks about all of these different areas um, listed. So if you're interested, you can certainly use that to help you as a parent, but also to help them as children to be well prepared for school. It's a very good site. So this part portion will um, echo some of the things that um, our director introduced you to. Um, all our schools offer a 50-50 bilingual kindergarten, so they can um, spend one or two years in this program. Most spend two, but some parents opt to wait until they're five. Um, after that year, they choose a program. And the choices of programming include a English with core French. So that's two, an English program with 200 minutes of French a week early French immersion program, or the middle French immersion program, which begins in grade four, or an alternative program. And the choice of program is fully the parent's decision. So it is your choice. It's a personal choice. Support is available in all of the programs. Whether you were to choose the English MFI or EFI program, they would all get French. And the outcomes in the EFI versus MFI are not just are not significant. In fact, they now indicate there's no 
um, no difference. So if you wanted to decide it later, you would choose English first and then move them later to grade four, if that's what you were comfortable with. The English program offers language, math, science and tech, social studies, his, history and geography later, health and phys ed, the arts in English, as well as 200 minutes of French per week. And that's what your child would get if they came to Roland Michener. The early French immersion program would offer the same kindergarten program. So you could register your child at the early French immersion site, which for us would either be um, Kanata Highlands or Stephen Leacock, depending where you lived, or you could register them at um, Roland Michener and move them to one of these in grade one. It's, uh, it's a parental choice again. Um, the grade one program is 80% in French. The only portion that's in English is math and English. You get a short segment of English with a math block. Grades two to six, it's 60% French, 40% English. Again, math and English in, in English and um, some other selected um, courses. And by grade seven and eight, it's a 50-50 program. And math continues to be in English. The Middle French Immersion Program, children in our district would stay from kindergarten through to the end of grade three and get a bilingual kindergarten program, a grade one to three English program with 200 minutes of French a week, and then move to another site where in grade four, they would get a program 66% or a third in French and a third in English and a 50-50 program by the time they were in grade seven and eight. So there's six different levels of proficiency that children who keep French all the way to grade 12 um, sometimes test on. Um, many children don't, don't stay in French all the way to grade 12, but for those who do, um, they have found no difference in the outcomes for children who are in the EFI and MFI program and solid outcomes for children who enrolled in the core French pathway. There's also an alternative program, which is a different kind of thing altogether. A lot of parental involvement. Um, all, of the, all of the levels are combined grades, as many schools offer. Um, it's, a, it's a cooperative approach. Uh, your report card will not show marks. Um, so it's a very different kind of approach, um, but the curriculum is the same and we all do inquiry-based, inquiry-driven learning. Uh, you'll get that everywhere. The Family Reception Center is for children who have come to on Ontario from another country. So whether it's an English-speaking country or not, they have to register through the Family Reception Center. Um, the hours are there and the email. Um, and so I would urge you to check it out in the event that you're coming from uh, and registering from another country. We encourage you to register right away. Our staffing is dependent upon knowing our numbers. So we encourage children parents to register as soon as they can. Um, you can find that link on the school board website as well as on our own website. Another thing you might want to know about in case you're not within our district is that the student transfer application period begins on Monday and it ends on February 16th. So if a child were to want to go to another school that is not in their designated area, they would apply register at their home school and apply to the school where they would like to go with a transfer application form. You can get more information about that from our school office, which will be fully opened on Monday. Uh -oh. And this is how you can get in touch with us. So we are very grateful that you joined us um, today. And we uh, wish you a very good night and remember to 
give us a call. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. That's what we're here for. So have a good evening, everyone.